All right, so in this video, let's look at doing a pie chart. And th this one's pretty easy. Uh, here we have uh, the type of case and the number of filings or number of lawsuits for each type of case. And we want to do a pie chart to represent this. So, you know, if you were doing the pie chart by hand, you would have to get the percentage and all that for each one. and try to draw it but Excel does a pretty good job here so we want to select our da data here and then we'll go to insert and you can see here we have pie chart and we'll insert a 2D pie chart and we'll hit OK and there it is so that was pretty easy wasn't it well I mean we want to make it let's Let's see, let me resize it a little bit better. Alright, so I think that looks good. Alright, so of course we will need to uh, clean this up a little bit, make it look a little bit a little neater. So let's go ahead and put a uh, title. So we click the title and then we just start typing. Uh, and we'll just name it, I guess, Lawsuits filed and hit enter alright so I think it would be nice if we had some percentages in here so let's uh, double click on this I'm sorry I'm sorry not double click let's right click on it and hit add data label so let's add the data label Well need to click on the whole one on the whole thing don't we let me undo that all right so let's let's see so let's click there right click add data labels so add data labels all right so now you can see it has the numbers there and I mean it doesn't it still doesn't look that good All right, so we we have the we have the numbers here, so and it I mean it looks all right, but not it doesn't look good at all. I think I want these to be percentages. So uh, what we can do is on the data label, just double click, and you can see the label options. Okay, you gotta you gotta make sure these label options are highlighted here. And so I think instead of values, I think I'm gonna take those off. How about we change them to percentage first? Okay, so I want to see the percentages. Now let's take off value. Okay, and you know, this really doesn't tell me much. I mean, down here it tells me uh, what color goes with, you know, contacts and all that. But I think I would like to see it up here in the in the chart, so I'll hit category name. And so that looks a little better there. All right. And so I think I'm starting to like this, and then I'll click here. I'm going to I'm going to delete that. I'm going to take that off. Uh so you know, it fits in there pretty nice, but I think also I'm I might want the numbers maybe a little bit bigger, maybe Let's try 11. Okay, so that looks nice. And and look at there, it, it puts a line into each section for us. Uh, so you know, so so that looks pretty good there. Uh, we could uh, let's see, maybe go here to design, and you know, there's some different options they have. Uh, uh, that that one's all right, and then we got that one, that one. Now I think I like that one. That one looks pretty good there, so I think I'll click that, and well, I'll go ahead and get rid of that. So, so that looks pretty good there, and you know we might want to come in here and once again we'll change this and make the 
make the text a little bit bigger so you can kind of highlight over it over this and we could even go to font 12 but uh, let's do maybe 10 I guess okay and so there's your there's your pie chart so you can see it's pretty easy to do all right so I hope this video helped sorry about the little mess up in about in the middle of the video uh, all right, and check out my other videos and subscribe. All right, thanks.